Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to a new video of The Reef Life. A weekly video that features my tank and myself. So today I don't have a very specific subject to discuss, so I just wanted to give you a quick look around the tank and how it's progressing. Not much else to tell you honestly, I haven't changed a lot of stuff in the past week, so I've just let it be uh, for most of the time and uh, yeah just wanted to give you a general overview of what's developing inside the tank how's it going uh, as you might notice uh, the image looks a bit uh, different from uh, from last week's it's a bit more orange that's because I'm using an orange filter by Arca it's the my reef life studio lens <laughs> Uh, I used to use a, a yellow filter, but uh, as one user, uh, one uh, subscriber mentioned last week, that kind of flickers between blue and, and purple. So this week I chose to use the uh, uh, the somewhat more orange filter, which makes the tank look a bit different. Also a bit different from what it looks like in real life, but uh, yeah, it gives you a general idea, and uh, it's better than uh, uh, the lights just moving around all the time uh, so yeah um, first an update on the uh, the Zoanthus aisle that I created right here as you can see uh, they're all settling in uh, pretty nicely um, uh, some are even developing uh, new polyps which is always uh, great to see for example these uh, these waters right here as you can see there's three very tiny polyps right underneath the uh, the ones that were already there it's always very nice to see same goes for these uh, blueberry pies right here as you can see on the left corner there there's also a new one uh, developing and with these Oompa Loompas there's even a, already a, a somewhat bigger one there right in between the two polyps that were uh, already there so yeah it's good to see that these polyps are already uh, uh, filling at home and doing uh, what they need to do and that is uh, growing some additional uh, polyps along the way of course the end goal being that the whole rock will be covered in different zoanthus uh, I unfortunately I ran out of glue uh, while creating this rock and I'm still waiting for the new one to arrive I also want to add these zoanthus right here to the rock and the ones that are right here I'll zoom in for a bit so you can see them better. But the screen won't allow me to zoom in, so you'll get the idea. So yeah, in that, uh, of course, the end goal being to uh, to create a full and lively rock of uh, of Zoanthus. Other than that, the fish uh, are also uh, doing well. As you can see, the copper band is feeling uh, right at home. In this tank and it's very uh, yeah it's nice to see that it's adapting to the tank life uh, uh, so well of course it's always a bit of a gamble when you buy these fish um, they can take the occasional nibble at your corals or they can develop a taste for it eventually I've heard people having them for a year two years and then suddenly they started uh, nibbling away at some of the coral they had so yeah, it's always a bit of a risk, but I like them. Um, well, yeah, if you've been following my tanks, you'll know that I had my previous one for eight years until it uh, finally, uh, or finally, it, it in the end it uh, it gave way and it uh, it died, unfortunately. But I've managed to keep it alive for eight years, and of course, I'll try my best to uh, keep this one alive for uh, at least that same amount of time. It's already eating from uh, the net that I'm feeding with, so I'm feeding a mix of uh, of mice and krill, both frozen, um, and that's uh, yeah, it's very fond of that mix. Uh, my previous copper band was as well, so feeding tip: if you have one that's not eating very well, try some uh, frozen mice and krill, and see if it nibbles on that. Like I mentioned, it's already eating it from the net, so when I'm adding a small net 
um, with the defrosted food inside in the tank it comes near and starts nipping it from the uh, yeah well from from the actual net itself so that's great to see uh, when I first introduced it to the tank I have seen it nibble at one of these trachyphilia right here I think it was this one but it could have also been this one um, but as you can see they're nice and fluffy now so I think that uh, after taking a small nibble it has decided that it doesn't like to eat them uh, which I uh, which I like of course because these are some very nice trachyphilia I would hate them seeing uh, being ripped apart by the uh, by the copper band but luckily it's all good and it doesn't do that so as you can see I also have a lot of uh, uh, Ricordea uh, actually my previous tank it was uh, uh, it wasn't that well it wasn't that good uh, but in the end uh, the, so the, the Ricordea really thrived in it and uh, somehow the video is losing focus let me try and quick fix that quickly well I just lock the uh, the focus so that should be good so as you can see there's a lot of uh, Ricordea right here um, I think you can count uh, over 10 there's even more right here and actually there's even more and they are uh, on the very back side of the tank right here so as you can see a lot of uh, Ricordea uh, this is actually a rock which has alone in itself I think around 20 of them uh, but I, yeah there's not much space in my tank so <laughs> I have to make a choice between uh, having these uh, in the th in the tank or uh, or getting rid of them uh, I, I think I'll put some up for sale eventually uh, since uh, since yeah this is plenty for one tank uh, but uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll see how it goes and uh, yeah, so um, all in all, pretty happy. Still trying to figure out how to get the best out of this lens, as you can see. Let's hope that it does well like this. I wanted to show you my fox face. This was actually one of the smallest fish from my old tank, uh, but as you can see, it's uh, growing nicely in this new tank. It's also showing itself a bit more now, which I'm really happy with, especially since uh, it used to be uh, quite uh, skittish uh, before, uh, but luckily it's, uh, yeah, it's doing a lot better now, and it's actually... Uh, grown uh, to like the tank uh, quite a lot uh, so that's uh, yeah that's always nice to see if a fish is feeling at home inside your reef tank and uh, if it's doing well and speaking of fish that are doing well um, these two clownfish right here are also uh, having a, uh, a pretty good time I reckon uh, their euphilia is growing ever bigger and uh, yeah it's really cool to see them uh, just hanging around this side of the tank and uh, guarding their home very well I might say uh, I've tried sticking my hand in there a couple of times and sometimes I do have to get near them and it's not something they can appreciate <laughs> so they will immediately start attacking my uh, my hand when I get too close which is fine. I mean, you f you can feel it, but it's not like uh, it's not like the the worst feeling in the world. So, uh, but they'll they'll let you know that uh, they don't appreciate you coming too close. Uh, for example, when I was gluing this mushroom coral uh, to the uh, the soft coral to the uh, to the rock, while gluing it, I was continuously being attacked by these two little buggers. But it's their right. I mean, it's their home, so uh, I shouldn't be too close to their home. And then, of course, there's this big guy. 
tall guy, long guy, I might say. Um, the uh, the eel, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, I really like the way it behaves inside the tank. It does very well, like I hoped it would. It's actually, I think, 95% of the time, maybe even more, it's just lurking from inside one of the three exits of this PVC piping that has been laid around the entire tank. I still have to cover up the entrances, uh, which was a comment made by a, uh, a subscriber last week, so thanks for your comment. I do intend to uh, to close these up. I have actually been looking for some uh, Tunze uh, rocks, which are made for uh, covering up uh, some of the power heads made by Tunze. Uh, and I think they will fit perfectly uh, uh, on the exit of this uh, PVC tube. But if I cannot find it for a reasonable price, I just might glue some pieces of rock uh, around it so that it, it's not that noticeable. Um, yeah, for now it's fine. But uh, to make it uh, a bit more beautiful, a bit more natural, I intend to uh, yeah to cover it up. Otherwise it would be just a big gray uh, a big gray pipe inside the tank uh, which is not that uh, not that pretty looking uh, so uh, yeah other than that um, I showed you my, uh, my my new corals last week so no need to go over those again if you want to uh, to see them uh, I, I suggest you watch last week's video if you haven't already um, for now I think that's that's most of the update that I can uh, can give you um, yeah I'll try to uh, to fix the uh, the lighting and the focus in next week's video so apologies if this hasn't been a very smooth experience um, I hope you still like the video and uh, yeah for now have a nice week and uh, I'll see you again uh, in the next one next week for now Bye-bye and have a good one. Cheers.